What is going on, fishing freaks? Luke Reeser here from Too Fat to Hunt Outdoors. Welcome back to another episode. As you can see, uh, I'm at home. See all that nasty white stuff? Look at it all, all over the Skeeter. Yeah, it snowed last night. What a treat. So we've been blessed with some pretty decent March weather lately. And then out of nowhere, last day of March here, and it, it snowed on us. But uh, I don't know if I told you guys in the last video or not, but the Skeeter's out of commission right now. Um, got some issues going on. I'm going to take it in and get it worked on. So it's actually going to be probably mid-April until I can get back out on it, which I'm very, very bummed out about. But, you know, this is going to give me a chance to do some other stuff. Um, so you're going to probably see a lot of bank fishing, uh, a lot of me hopping in with other people, hopefully. And hopefully real soon but today we're gonna take a day and we're gonna do something that I've been wanting to do for quite a while since I started the fish eater series last fall and that is we're gonna cook some fish in the old microwave so I just took out a pack of bluegills that I caught on the Mississippi River through the ice in uh, uh, December 28th of this past winter and uh, we're gonna go cook them up now I know what you're thinking, same thing as me probably, cooking fish in the microwave, yuck, disgusting, can't be done, you'll never get it cooked through. But I think you're going to be surprised. And I got a little tool that's going to help me do that. So if you stick around, you're going to get to see exactly how you can cook fish in the microwave. They're going to be delicious and you can do it in like 10 minutes. So, so yeah, stay with me and I'm going to show you how to cook delicious fish in the microwave. Alrighty folks, so here we are in my kitchen and we're just about ready to get underway here. So what I got here, I got a bowl with some bluegill fillets in them. I don't know what's in there, probably 10 fish maybe. Got an empty bowl here that I'm going to put my seasoning in. Got uh, Andy's Red is what I'm going to use for my main batter. Then I'm going to add a little lemon pepper. Some Old Bay and a little bit of slap ya mama and the key here for cooking fish in the microwave is going to be this product right here and this is actually a product by Tupperware this thing is freaking awesome don't mock it until you try one they are a little pricey um, I don't remember exactly how much they're a hundred and some dollars but yeah anyways you can cook anything you want in this thing we've cooked burgers in it we've cooked steaks in it in the microwave it's crazy and uh, it's metal but it's got silicone top and bottom so it's microwavable safe it's just just amazing so anyways what we're gonna do here is get some seasoning in here it's gonna be my base Add a little lemon pepper since we're grilling. Um, yeah, so anyways, I don't know if I told you exactly what this is called, but it's called the Pro Grill. Tupperware Pro Grill. So everything you do in there is, is like grilled. Old Bay check. Slap your mama check. And now I'm just gonna mix it around. All right, so now we're ready to put them in there. All right, so I got them in there. I got one, two, three, four bluegills. Four whole bluegills in there. Now the key here, you can put this on two ways. If you put it on crossways like this, you're letting a little air come through. That's what you do if you're gonna steam with this thing. If you're gonna grill with it, you want it in there the whole way. And you just set it right on top. 
So you got metal on the bottom of the fish and metal on the top of the fish, I guess. Now, I'm gonna put her in the microwave here. As you can see, got it right in there. And I've never cooked fish. This is my first time doing it in here, so we're gonna try it six minutes. Let her rain. Oh, mmm, smells good. Here we go. I'm sure that metal is scorching hot. But you can grab these handles. Whoo! That is hot. Look at that. Man. Almost looks like I uh, fried it. Yummy. I'm gonna flip it over. It's pretty crispy. I bet it's. I bet it's done. But I'm one of them guys that actually sometimes overcooks things just because I. I've had some bad experiences biting into some mushy fish that wasn't done so I'm gonna give it I think I'm gonna do two minutes and flip it over put that hot ass lid back on there and I think I'm gonna do one or two we'll do two minutes on the other side all right I missed the beep on that one but here she is Whew. Two more minutes on the other side. I think I might have overcooked it. She's pretty crispy. But I'm going to put them all on a plate over here. All right, break one open. It's not bad. Here's the fish, folks. It's pretty good. I'm very impressed on how good it is coming out of the microwave. I'm sure I'm gonna get better at this as I cook. This is pretty spicy. <laughs> I put a lot of different seasonings in it, but I like a lot of flavor. Definitely probably not my preferred method of fish, but it's very good and I'd eat it any day of the week. I still think there's nothing better than fresh fish coming out of the deep fryer. But you can see here, That's all the mess we got to clean up. No grease, no oil. Pretty much just wash that out. There's just some powder in there, some seasoning powder. And that's the only mess we got. My wife's probably going to be very mad when she comes home and sees I did this because she told me no cooking fish in that thing. So, shh, don't tell her. Anyways, yeah, that's it, folks. Simple, simple little recipe there to cook some fish in your microwave. So, if you have one of these, if your wife has one of these, give it a try. I'm sure you won't be disappointed. And if you have not yet subscribed to Too Fat to Hunt Outdoors, go ahead and do that right now. Hit the bell so you're notified every time I put out a video. Clobber that thumbs up. Luke signing off. Always remember, you're never too fat to fish.